How to Use the Internet Explorer Browser, Part 2, How to Use the File and Edit Menus. You are watching a Tom's Tech Notes video. If you like this video, please wait until you are finished watching it, then click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page. A welcome video will play to describe my other videos. The file menu is the first one. New tab command. If you click new tab now and then open another website, both the previous website and the new website will be open in the tabs at the top and you can quickly switch back and forth between them by clicking the tabs. You can open a bunch of those, as many as you have room to see up there. And you can quickly go back and forth between, between, between all of them. You only see one at a time, but you can quickly change between the ones you're looking at. So that's the new tab feature. The next feature is a little more useful than that. Because here you can only see one at a time. To get rid of a tab, you click the X box, the X at the end of the tab. So I'm going to get rid of the CNN tab. Now the next feature, I'm going to skip the uh, duplicate tab feature. I'm going to describe the new window feature. That's a useful feature. If you click that and open another website, they're both open in separate windows. You can move the windows around. You can put them side by side. You can do that with several windows. You can compare web pages that way by putting them side by side on your screen. You can then independently scroll through the web pages. And you can even open two pages in the same website that way if you want to compare two pages that were in the same website. To close those extra windows you've opened, you close them like you will close any other windows by clicking that X box. So that's the new window feature, and that's a real useful feature. Open command is the next one on the file menu. What that will do is it'll let you navigate to a web page that you've stored on your computer and open that. I'll go ahead and click the open so you'll see. It lets you browse. And open a web page that, again, a web page file is on your computer. I'm not going to open one. But remember, the web pages on your computer are the ones that end in .html or .htm. Those are the web pages that, are, that you can store on your computer, and they will open in the browser with that file command. Okay, let's see what some of these others are. You can edit the actual code for this website with the notepad editor. We're not going to discuss the code in, in this tutorial, but if you learn a little bit about the code, you can make changes to a website. Remember, you can't change somebody else's website on the internet, okay? Just keep that in mind. You can make a copy of it, change it in your computer. And it's mostly useful if you're going to edit your own websites that you've stored on your computer. So that's the edit command, and, and that's one way to edit them with Notepad. There are programs designed to edit web pages that are easier to use. Let's just look at some of the other options here. Here's a standard set of print commands that are on almost every program you'll use on the computer. The page setup lets you define the format of the page, the type of this, the uh, paper size you're going to print, uh, things like that. The print command will actually let you select uh, a few options also. Let's just look at those options. Here's a page setup. It lets you say what kind of page size you have. It shows you a preview right here of, of what, what it's going to look like. It even lets you set margins. And you can define headers and footers and things like that or change the font. Not going to go into too much detail there. If you do make any changes, you'll click OK. And then uh, when you click the print command, it will use the things you just set, plus it will let you select which printer you're using of your installed printers or your devices. And it lets you select on this, after you're hitting the print button, how many pages you want printed, which pages you want printed, and how many copies of the pages you want printed. So again, you're, uh, once you select these guys and hit print, it does print. So it, there's another option here, one more. If you change some of the print setups, you can preview the print, print output without printing it. So you might want to do that as a safety feature instead of wasting paper when you find out you need to change the way you define your print. So uh, the send command, I don't really use that very often. It, there you can see what the options are. 
there's another way here with a sin command to create a shortcut to the desktop uh, on the desktop of the page you're on. So it sends shortcut of the open page to desktop. The wording's a little un unclear. Import and export lets you uh, write a file containing your favorites that you're using with your browser or it lets you read in a file of favorites that you've saved with another browser or with this browser before. You can use that to, to move favorites into a different browser or to move them into a browser on another computer. So it's, it's a handy command. Uh, other than that, I'm not going to describe any more of the file commands. The edit command is the next one. The edit command has the standard commands, editing commands that all programs that you'll be using have. There's a cut command, there's a copy command, and a paste command. Now I want to point out cut command and a paste command will not work on a website because you're not allowed to change a website. The copy command will work. You have to first select something on the page before you uh, use the copy. I will change to a, a page, well I don't need to. Uh, for instance, if I select some text on this page and then I open the edit menu, it'll let me copy it by pressing Control C. I do use keyboard shortcuts for the edit commands. That's a very handy thing to do. Uh, remember that. Uh, remember the copy, select all, and find are the only commands on this menu that will work on a web page. But let me tell you what the shortcuts are. The cut command, the shortcut is Control X. The copy command is Control C, and the paste command is Control V. You use those a lot for browsing, for working with files. Select all is control A. It will select all of the web page. Now what I did is I highlighted one, one, one uh, little string here. If I select copy now, it will copy this to the clipboard and I could then paste it somewhere else, either on this page or somewhere else. I couldn't paste it on this page, remember, because you can't paste on a web page. But I could paste it into a text file or something. If you could copy, uh, for instance, if you had a, an address on this, this page, you could copy an address and paste it into another program, even paste it back up into your address box and, and go to that page that way. So that's the copy. And remember what I said, the edit on the select all. If, if you press Control A or select, uh, select all from that menu, it's, it highlights and selects everything on the page so you can copy the entire page and paste it somewhere else. Remember, if it's got any graphics in it, you'll need to paste it into a program that can do graphics. Pretty much describes everything on the edit command with the exception of the find command. And I'll go to a more interesting website than my home page before I do the find. Okay, remember the find command had a shortcut of control F. And so that's the way I'll demonstrate it. Now I'm on the CNN website. And I'll do a control F. Now it wants me to type what it is I want to search for. And let's just find something that's there. Mugabe. Let's start typing Mugabe. Okay, it highlights the first place it finds an M, U. It finds the first place it finds an M, U, Muslim. Mugabe. Now it found the word Mugabe. I really could just quit typing now and do something else on the web page or I could continue to type and it'll highlight the rest of the word. But remember after that it's not, it, you don't do anything with a find command other than locate something on the page. Usually it's to find something you want to read and you don't know where it is because the page is too long. So that's the find command. That's the last command I'll go uh, through on the edit menu. Uh, one more time though, the shortcuts on this menu that are mostly used in other programs, cut Control X, copy, Control C, paste, Control V, select all, Control A for all, find, Control F. That's the end of this part. The next part will describe the view and favorites menus. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please click my name, Thomas Wallace, to visit my channel page to watch my other videos.